Sweet. All right, back to the game. Spawning at the right bottom side of the map. We do have the barcode, which is 80. This game sucks from Sweden. And his opponent, uh, a player that by this time I don't think needs any introduction. Uh, having made his way through numerous teams in the past two years. Uh, or should I say past one year. Finally, getting onto ESC IC Box. It is Jacko, the green Protoss player from, uh, I believe, Luxembourg, if I'm not mistaken. I, I think you're right. I think you're right. I could check, but let's just trust the chat to check it. Yeah, the chat knows everything. You know why? Knows. Because unlike us, during the cast, they can go on Google. What's Google? <laughs> You know, like, sp specifically me as a broadcaster, I cannot, like, alt-tab and go search something on Google. I mean, I could, a lot of streamers do that, but it would be really ir irresponsible of me, so generally I tend to avoid doing such things. So we have a, uh, we have a hatch first out of, uh, out of this game sucks, which is, uh, which is fine. Jacko is opening with a gateway. Very nice to put the gateway in the back of his base. In case this was an early pool, he could have walled off at the top. Yep, uh, I mean, uh, very, uh, very uh, nice uh, variation on the wall with uh, from Jacko. He actually put the cybernetic score in the wall, and, and that is sometimes yeah, this, a little bit vulnerable. Uh, this this will need another pylon here, I believe, yes. because this is this is very difficult. To, uh, I mean, you have to put your Zalot on hold, posi uh, hold position, pixel perfect. Because yep. if you move it one pixel to the side, the links can actually sometimes stream in if you keep clicking behind the zealot. It's really annoying when this happens to you, and I've seen this happen in professionally played matches as well, which surprised me, but it does happen from time to time. Um, this game suck opening without gases so far. Uh, now he could try and go ahead and take a very fast third base, which... Versus a gateway opening is not ideal with doing that without gas. I mean, your, your third base could get killed by a three gate pressure. Yep. Um, or he can try to go play two base versus uh, this. From what I'm seeing though, it doesn't look like uh, uh, it, this game sucks. It wants to exploit the fact that the, the wall is a little bit uh, weak at the beginning of the game. But so far, he's only making queens and drones and he's not even taking his gas. So. I mm. don't think it's gonna get punished, but I do think it's a little bit of a weird build from a uh, weird opener from Jacko. It could have definitely uh, been vulnerable to uh, to some links running by. Oh yeah, it definitely could have. And he's only just now going to going. Uh, well, actually, yeah, he's only just now going to scout with uh, with his units. And you know, as a response to this, and once he sees that forge at the front, he's going to know this game suck, that the third base that he's taking right now is completely safe. Yep. Uh, because generally when you get a forge, you're not going to be attacking straight away. Nope, and uh, I think one of the things that uh, we are going to see is a lot of creep, because uh, there's two queens dedicated to, to pooping right now. Um, so that's going to be really good, especially on, uh, on a map like this, uh, where there's a lot of avenues to attack. You really mm -hmm. want to see what's going on. So I like that, and we also see uh, the Zealot and the Mothership Core pushing across the middle of the map, and two links getting pushed back by uh, by a sentry. Hmm. And they they have also seen the Stargate, so this game stuck you should know what he's playing against. It's going to be yep. Phoenix, as we said before, by putting your Stargates uh, at the, the wall. Time warp. The Time Warp is actually going to kill the Queen. Yeah, it? yeah, it is. The Zealot needs to hit the other Queen at least once, though, if the Mothership Core is to is to kill it off. Ah, uh, yeah, this is going to be really close because the queen is now on creep. The second one can come in to yep. help defend, and Jacko just... Well, he didn't lose much. He lost one zealot there, so it's not that big of a deal. It's just uh, it's just a good defense by this game suck. Good micro to keep uh, all of those queens alive. And I think he moved the most hurt one all the way to the main, or maybe the natural? The natural. Um, yeah, but you can see how good these players are. Like, uh, you, you could see... Uh, from our Swedish Zerg that uh, he really um, didn't overreact, he didn't make yeah. extra Zerg because he already scouted that uh, that Stargate so he knows this is not going to be some sort of all-in with uh, just ground forces. Um, Phoenix already getting its first kill on the left side and on the right top side you also see Phoenix chasing an Overlord and it looks like he's going to do a similar build like we've seen against Raymond. 
yeah, uh, he's doing a very similar build uh, to what Pink did. Um, and interestingly, only only now the oh okay okay I see uh, so he's going for the plus one roach yes. stuff here uh, the roach warren should be finishing actually the roach warren is a little bit late it should have been queued up immediately after the after the evolution chamber and it's timed so that it finishes together with the lair so you mm -hmm, can mm -hmm. you have your plus one ticking and you can queue up roach uh, speed right as the lair finishes and start roach production. But no, he's going to move into Hydras. He's even getting an infestation pit. What is this? This is this is too much tech for, my, uh, for my liking. He's doing the one of everything build. Ah, uh, he, he he very well uh, he very well could be. He's also on six gases already. Now I wonder what is he going to start producing? Jacko doing a decent job of picking up drones. He has killed six so far, unopposed. Uh, the phoenixes have taken some damage, but he lost absolutely zero of those But, but uh, even though he's making one of everything, uh, he does have a very high uh, drone count already. He's 72 harvesters yeah. against 47. So that's going very well for... Uh... Wow. Hmm? Wow, he's going straight into Hive, only just yep. now queues up. Alright, alright. I th I think he is... Uh, he's just kind of... This game sucks, what he's doing. He's going straight into Vipers. Yes, and, and he's he gonna use and, them. and he he kind of just read Jekko throughout. He was like, "Hmm, you're opening with a Stargate and you're getting Phoenixes, so yes. your follow-up, according to the current meta game, is going to be taking a third base, getting Colossi out, and increasing your gateway, gateway count. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to be building any units. That's why he's on 72 drones. That's why he he's throwing yeah. down all that tech, and he's gearing up for an attack. What do you think he's going to do?" Well, um, the thing is, with with the high finishing and uh, the possibility of, uh, of of using that tech, he, he could start making a lot of hydras and uh, pulling the few colossus into them. Yeah, with vipers. That, yeah, with vipers. That that's that what I'm thinking. What he's going for, because um, it would line up with everything he's been doing. You know, he's got good creep spread. Uh, he, he made a lot of tech, but he never made a lot of units. He never put on the aggression, and he is getting the upgrades for the for the missile attacks, right? So. Mm -hmm. The only thing I can imagine is that if he has one or two Colossus, it's going to be very powerful, but he has to worry about the Phoenixes. Yeah, the only thing that, you know, when when, you, when you're doing something like this, you're going to be really starved for gas, so he really needs a fourth base. Now realizes that he kind of needs that needs mm -hmm. it, and he needs one more Viper with this. Yep, you yep. ideally want to have three Vipers. By the time you get over across the map, there could be as many as three Colossi. And now the gateways are finishing up, which means the reinforcements for Jacko will be coming in much more rapidly. Um, and this game suck. Well, he has to move now. He's... Uh, Rounding up his composition with Lings, that's a good choice because they provide a lot of meat shield for those Hydras and Roaches. And as long as you can kill the Colossi quickly enough, they do in fact have decent survivability. Yep, and uh, these these Phoenixes aren't getting a lot of in intel because there's a lot of Spore Crawlers, uh, a lot of Queens defending, so they don't really see uh, that army. I don't think that the Protoss has actually seen this mass army move through the middle of the map. But yet. I think Jekko knows what's happening. He has seen the Hive and he has he seen has the timing seen the of that, so... Yeah. He knows this was ridiculously fast. But it's gonna be very hard to hold. Like, if, if we check the step right now, he has three Colossus. Is that gonna be enough? Because if those three Colossus no. get picked off by the Vipers, he can't beat this army they, they get abducted. If they get abducted... If they get abducted, it's over. If the Phoenixes can kill the Vipers... We've got a we've got a fight here. Else it's gonna be one. There goes the first Colossus being built in and being killed. The Phoenixes are trying to catch these vipers, but the Two. other one goes in and the last one. Three, come on, give me a free TGS. And there, we there we go. And this is over at this point. I mean, Jacko yeah. cannot hold off this army, and more and more will be streaming across the map. GG gets called. Perfect execution by TGS. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. Very nice. That's.